Hello, my friends. I am doing a collaboration today uh, with a hashtag attached to it. It's called hashtag painting is fun. Oh, by the way, my name's Catherine. Hi. Um, it is a collaboration with a group of several other artists doing painting and I'm going to include uh, links in the description below to the playlist so check it out it's going to be so much fun um my project is I want to paint a sea turtle so I sketched up a design for a sea turtle that I like um and then what I want to do, my theory, my idea, is that if I paint it on a piece of glass, I can then put that glass back into its frame. So I'm going to use glass from this picture frame. I can then put that glass back into its frame. And um, other words and things. No, I can put that glass back into the frame and then it doesn't have any... Um, like canvas or cardboard or anything behind it. Um, so the paint, in my mind at least, what I think it's going to turn out like, the paint will look like it's floating. Um, so I've sketched up the turtle that I want to end up with, and I can see it through the glass because the glass is clear, so that's perfect. Um, but the trick is I'm going to have to paint it backwards. Um, that is, I'll have to paint the highlights first and like the eyes and then go back through afterwards and paint like the green of its skin and its shell and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm just going to start off with some white paint, just some white acrylic because I'm doing this in acrylic and a little bit of like this like sea foamy green color um just the barest touch and then i want some black and i'm just setting it up on a bit of scrap paper here actually oh oops well well that ended up everywhere that's okay uh just clean that bottle up Um, oops, that's what I get for tossing things. Um, anyway, just on a bit of scrap, uh, dabbing paper and let's get started. Uh, okay, here we are. I'm just going to use this. This is a really old rough brush and I'm just going to take and mix the white with that really light green. I just want it to be a very, very light color. There we go. And then I'm going to go through and do the highlights on these uh, plates because they're sort of like, they're like plates. Um, you're going to want to make them smaller than you think that you need to because they will end up bigger than you intended once you've turned it over and they end up being highlights because you're doing them first you haven't got the rest of the color as reference to reference it to um, so you're going to want to do those those highlights like smaller than you're going to think that you need them And then maybe like something like right there. So this is a really rough brush. So it's very wispy and it's leaving like, like brush marks everywhere, which is exactly what I want. And just going through and painting the highlights first. It took me the longest time to figure out how I wanted to end up painting it backwards. And I finally set it, settled on drawing the turtle first and using that as a reference because I wasn't going to be able to get the highlights in the right places without drawing him first. Uh, so let's go around the edge 
of the shell. And then like a brush of highlight on each of these plates for the shell. Okay. And then the back feet. There we are. And then I want to pick up a little bit more paint or draw it down in my brush or whatever and get a solid bit of it right on the inside of the shell here where you can see just the in inner lip of the shell that his neck isn't covering. Okay, and then that'll be the highlights. And then I need a little bit of black for his eyes. So I'm going to grab a really fine brush and feel it pulling the cover off of it. There we go. A really fine brush, just itty bitty. And take up just a tiny touch of black and put the black in for his eyes. And Anywhere that I think we'll need like low lights over top, like his nose and maybe like the bottom edge of this shell here. And maybe like the bottom of his face where his beak is. Like the top of his head, just to define it a little bit. And then like the back of his shell, like where his flippers are, because those are going to be further back and therefore, in theory, darker. Go. Uh, I find it really hard to paint and talk at the same time because I get I get concentrated on what I'm doing and then I forget what I'm saying and then I end up not saying anything. I'll make his tail extra black. We've got a little triangle tail right there. There we go. Okay, and then maybe, maybe just like a little definition in his armpit area, sort of there. And I was thinking I was going to have to leave this to set and dry, but actually, that white, uh, that 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 light green, that white that we mixed with the really light green, so that it ended up really light, like practically white, is actually almost dry all on its own. We put it on pretty thin, which is kind of awesome. We might be able to get away with it as it is, which will be cool if we can do. So I was thinking we were going to have to let it dry so that it didn't smear when we painted the darker colors over the top, but I don't think we will. I think that's turning out quite nicely, actually. Okay. 
and it's drying very quickly because we put it on so thin. I probably already said that. In fact, I'm sure I already said that. That's okay. Okay. Um, now what I want to do is do like a, I've got this sort of navy blue. I'm going to go ahead and shake it up and and come on you open up and use some use some tweezers to pry it open and then I'm going to mix that navy blue with let's see here let's put some more white out in case we want to make the color lighter and then put some more of this sea foam out actually i should probably look ah minted aqua is what the color is actually called um and then let's make uh, let's grab this brush. It's shorter, so I think it might give me some more control over it. And then let's pull some green and some blue and see what we end up with. That's kind of nice. I think I might want more, a little bit more green. Let's brighten it up just a little bit more. Actually, might want a lot more green kind of want him to be a greeny sort of sea turtle. There we go. You know, let's just scoop a bunch of green over here. It's harder to make colors lighter than it is to make them darker. Um, so you start off, you're supposed to start off with the light color and then introduce just small bits, bits of the darker color until you reach the shade that you want. But I did it opposite to that because that's what I did. But that is about the shade that I want. Sort of. All right, so let's give him some not highlights, but like around the tops of those plates in his shell. We'll just go right around the top. And right like that. And sort of like that. I'm getting nervous about how this is going to turn out, you guys. I don't I don't know if it's going to be any good. We shall see, I suppose. I like this color, which is nice. I hope it turns out well. I'm kind of trying to leave a little bit of space between those um, plates in the shell where the so that the color doesn't run into one another so that it gets a defined um, line when I paint a darker color over the top of it that way it'll end up in between we shall see if it works out All right, and then let's just paint that over those inner sides right there just to give it a little bit more. It's still got that white underneath. 
but this should just make it a little bit more green, I think. My opinion, who knows? All right, and then let's make this a little more Christmas colored. This is ha, Christmas green. That's what this color is called. So let's dab in a little bit more true green. Let's make it a little less sea colored. See if we can't pick up some of that for his skin parts. So the shell is more like blue tinted and his skin parts are more green tinted, sort of, hopefully, kind of, maybe. I like this color, that works out, and it's sort of the same hue as the lighter one, so that'll be nice. Um, let's just go around the edges on those pieces. Go. Now I know it looks like I'm covering up that white, but when it's seen from the back side, I hope it still shows up and won't be covered up because that I think is going to be the cool is, is is going to be a cool effect and is going to give it that that backwards painted look that I was talking about. Um, if it works. It might just not work. We shall see. You know, I'm gonna paint those all the way in. Why not? I was leaving them open for a second color, but I don't think I will after all. I think I'm going to paint them all the way in with this, this green. There we go. And then the other thin. Sort of, kind of, maybe, hopefully. Turning out some, then it's not going to look like much from the back side, but when you flip it over, hopefully it looks good. It should be more or less just blobs of color from the back side. Let's pick up a little bit more paint and let's see how do we do that just kind of like that and noisy birds man they are loud sometimes that's okay we'll work it out all works out go okay and then that's the fin and then the back fins I think I'm just going to go over in green and See what we end up with from the other side. Hopefully it works. And then I think I want to do like some eyebrows on him. Maybe maybe down all the way down his face. Down to his beak. Yeah. I think I like that. And then maybe like just a little bit around the crown of his head and right around his edge of his face there. 
Okay. Okay. And then like more darker green. I may end up having to add some black to this even actually. We'll see how it goes. Scoop all the darker green in there and some black. I want to darken this color up without making it look like mud, which green and blue and black shouldn't, should maybe look like mint chocolate chip ice cream that's been left to melt for too long, which is being honest, per pretty much mud. Um, <laughs> but there we go. See, that's a nice color. I like that. Um, all right. And just mix that together. And while I'm waiting for those skin parts to dry, let's go back to his shell. I think I want to grab a bit of this really light purple and put a little bit of that just a tiny little dab of that into his shell. Uh, maybe mix just a tiny bit of blue into it and see what I end up with. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I like that. All right, and then just right around the bottom there. and the bottoms of those. There we go. I really hope this is going to turn out. I can't, I can't tell right now if it's going to turn out or not. I really hope it does. I like this idea and I want it to work because if it does work, I'm going to do so many more like this, like not all sea turtles, obviously, but so many more like paintings where we'll just, we'll tie that little bit of dark, dark blue, purple, green into his eye right around that eye okay maybe like right at the back of his neck okay and then we're gonna switch back out for that dark green that we mixed up just a moment ago and go over the top of those fins just all the way over the top of it because we've got those layers underneath and those have been given enough time to set up if not fully dry that they should stay intact hopefully Okay, push it right up to the edge of the shell. Awesome, and then the other one. Because we're doing it in sort of layers. I I believe this is going to work. Ooh, don't wipe away. Just cover it up. Pick up some more of that green if I can. Just cover. 
Okay. Okay, and then across the top of his head. And down over his face. There we go. And then, like right against the back fins, just to darken them up a bit. I think it should come around the outside and just kind of darken those fins up, hopefully. Hopefully, sort of. Make them a little darker from the other side. And then the shell. Now what do I want to do? Do I want to go more blue or do I want to go more green with that? That's a thought. Let's, let's start off with something like blue and see how it goes. Do I want to put in more Christmas green in that? I think I do. I don't want it to end up that sort of gray green that the skin did, but let's see if we can't control that with white instead of black. Mm, too much green, more blue. There, that's kind of a nice color. I'm liking how that's turning out. So it's like a gray -y sort of blue. We'll see what we end up with. Let's just keep mixing until we get a color that we like. There we are. Oh, that's nice. I like that color. All right. So. Let's just lay it over the top of the whole shell. Except those bottom lips, because those are meant to stay light. Hopefully, we'll see how it all ends up once we turn it over. Trying not to get my hand in the way of you guys' view. Sometimes it works better than other times. All right. Okay. And I think, I think that might be it. All right, let's flip it over and see what we ended up with. All right, just slide it off of the paper. And like I said, doesn't look like much from the backside, does it? But time for the big reveal. Actually, let's put that paper, well, let's get paint all over that paper. Sure, why not? Um, Let's put something light behind it so that you can see it because my tabletop screen. There we go. A bit of white paper behind it. That way you can see it better. That doesn't, like I said, look like much, but let's flip it over and, ooh, oh no, that's interesting. Not what I was expecting, but I like it. Let's see if I can get a better... What do you guys think? Turned out pretty all right. And when I put it in the frame, let me go see if I can slide it into the frame without touching the wet paint. Okay, come on, you. What's up? 
Put that up there. There we go. Okay. Put it in the frame. It looks like it's just just the painting itself floating in the frame and not with any um, anything behind it. It's just the paint. I like it. This might this process may take a little bit of refining, but that was pretty darn fun. I I am happy with how it turned out and I look forward to trying again. Actually, I might lay a little bit more of that dark green right there. See, once you cut, once you start, you just don't stop. A little bit more of that dark green right across there, because it was shining through thin a bit. We go just dab some of that color on there and there, maybe there. Okay, no, I really, I have to stop. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. And I'm making a mess. Um, anyway, this was for the painting collaboration with the hashtag painting is fun. Um, remember to watch the other videos in this collaboration because they are amazing. You should totally see them. Um, and Remember to subscribe and like and share, and I will see you guys later. Bye!